Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday. I have a different little project today that I haven't done in a long time and thought we would have a play with it. So we will say hi and hugs and we'll get started. Hi and hugs to Denise, Jennifer, Sue, and Pamela. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. And off we go. So you might remember the other day on Forgotten Friends Friday, I found some of these um, some of these old postcards, um, not particular particularly striking in whatever way. And so we're gonna work with those as well. I have these cards. These are from the dollar store. Um, I had someone give me these. Uh, a long while ago. So see, they've, they're have they kind of vintage-y looking. They're pretty cool. So I think we'll do some stuff with those as well. Maybe not the Joker, but maybe some of the others. Okay, so let's get started. So what you're going to need is some surface, like some old postcards, playing cards of some sort, some mod oh geez mod podge or um some other sort of uh some other sort of glue that you can decoupage with okay well that hopefully will dry before i have to put it on um gosh this seems a little runny it's a brand new jar but might be separated a little okay so anyway um and then I have napkins. I have my fall napkins as well. I have my scrap napkins just in general. So uh, we'll, we'll play with both. But we are going to do some altered playing cards. And then we are also going to do a little project with these postcards. That's really cool. So I saw one in a couple in here that I really wanted to play with. Where's that other one? It was so cute. This one. Isn't that cute? I think. Will he fit on a card? I think he'll fit on a card. Um, so we're going to get him taken care, or, you know, ready to go, which is we're going to pull off all but the decorative sheet. And I like to use scotch tape because it just grabs and you can just pull. I keep these for the fabric paper that I make. Um, and so I just fold them up and keep them in another little spot. Can't really tell if there's another layer. Yep, sure enough is. Sure enough, that's what's so great about this little um, technique with the scotch tape. It works really well. So yeah, you just want to get it down to that very last layer. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to have a very, um, just a very relaxed little decoupage session here. So I'm just going to take one section of the fox. Like so, put the rest back for for later projects. But um, yeah, he's going to be really cute on there, I think. So I am just going to cover this card with Mod Podge. This is a silicone paintbrush. I find it the best for working with Mod Podge and stuff because otherwise the cleanup of your brush can be quite extensive. Okay, let's just plop you. I'm hoping that I'm getting him in the right spot. And then just smoothing him out a little bit. And then I'm just going to kind of, well, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm going to cut. Okay. 
after it's dry, it's a little bit easier too to. Now for me on this, I want these as kind of as journal cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, cover the back with some um, uh, coffee dyed paper. Yeah, so, oh, isn't he cute? Oh gosh, I you guys, I am a train wreck. Get Mod Podge everywhere. Okay. And then we'll just set him aside to to dry while we do some others. And hopefully, you know, we can we can do a little additional decorating once we kind of get these dried up. Okay, so I'm going to set him behind me. There he is, all decoupaged. Okay, let's... All right, so then the other one that I thought would be fun is this one with these wonderful um, mushrooms. And I think it'll about fit. Maybe not quite, but it'll about fit. So, first things first. Just going to throw those in a pile over there and I'll get them folded up and in the bag that they go in later. Not this moment. We're busy playing. Can't be bothered to clean up while we're busy playing. Okay. Um, I think just for speed, I'm just going to give that a little cut. Now with this one, I think I'm going to just go around the mushrooms. I don't particularly want the bugs, so I'm going to use my water brush and just kind of go right around trying to leave out the bugs. I mean, you could always add a bug back in if you wanted. But let's see how that's going to be. I don't think I want that red behind. Yeah, let's do that. Don't know that the whole thing has to be covered this time, but it's going to go right about there. That's where I'm at, so that's where I'm going. in a little bit right here so just gonna do it and then um, and then I think I'll let that dry and then I'll cut around the edges but okay that one's cute that was cute Okay, so got some good good little crumbs here that can be used on another project, but um, I did see another that might be cute on one. Let's try it. Don't know till we try. We got a whole deck of cards to play with, so.
This one's just kind of wanting to fall away, I think. Oops. There it is. Okay, well, we'll use this one down here since we tore it already. I'm just doing that edge because I don't particularly want this to have a straight edge. Okay. All right, let's see what you would like to do. Ooh, I like that. I kind of would like a little less there. Oops. A little less there. Like that. And then the seven just kind of show. Okay. I'll tell you what. I have more mixed media Monday things than I have Mondays. <laughs> I want to do but I mean nothing says I couldn't do them on another day of the week right so kind of go like that I hope I'm in camera I can't even see where's my car it's right there okay That one's going to be kind of cool, I think. Oops. A little heavy handed there. Okay, well, that's happening. Okay, I'm just going to let that. Let that simmer over there. Try and get myself unstuck from things here. Um, okay, I'd like to... <laughs> there it is still. I'd like to do maybe... Um, like two more fall ones. Sorry, I had to go get a... Oh, something wet because I couldn't get that off my finger. Okay, there was a pumpkin one in here. A pumpkin that we thought would be kind of neat. Um, ooh, this could go with another one I'm doing. I think I'm going to do that one, definitely. So what do I want? I definitely want that. Um... I'm just going to come up here. And take off a little down here. And I'm going to go up this away a little bit. So the three shows. Come over here, I think. And then down that way. And that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Didn't expect to have this this one to play with, but this will be good because I want to, um, the cover that I got from Frida at Rustic Prairie Gems, I want to use my orchard 
my own Orchard Digital on that. And so I haven't put together the signature. That's a to-do that I need to get done before my retreat. But all that to say, this will go perfectly with that. Okay, we'll put that one aside. They're starting to dry already because I can see them curling <laughs> over there. Okay, where's that pumpkin one, doggone it, that I saw and thought, oh, that would be cute. Okay, hang on one second. I'll find it. Not that, not that. Oh my gosh, this one's cute. With the birds and the leaves. That's a possibility too, if I, especially if I can't find my pumpkins. I think this might be the one, but I think they're too big. There's some mushrooms. I'm not feeling those. Not feeling that. Okay, let's do the birdies. I think the birdies are catching my eye. And they're already torn, which is nice. Um, I am just going to around these birdies for, to start and see what will what will kind of fit on here that would be cute but I think I'm gonna have to go take this birdie off Okay, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to pull some of the leaves from this and just place those on. Kind of in random spots. Probably get the birdies on there. Do I like that? It's a light napkin so you can kind of see the vintagey background. Okay. And then we'll just Yeah. Almost like collaging on here. And then I think one at the bottom, one right there, that would work. Okay, and then maybe one kind of up there. There we go. We, we piece that together so that what would show is what we wanted to have show. Okay, we got five fall ones done, so that makes me happy. I love that little bird, though. Okay, so we've got a few bits of fun little pieces there. Okay, I'm going to set the fall aside, and we're going to work out of our scrap bin on the postcards. First of all, I need to take this and kind of get some of this off of my, so my postcards don't stick. So we can do, we can do more if, if our, if we so desire. Now this project is kind of interesting. So I'm in a decoupage napkin on there, right? And, um, 
I'm going to try and choose back, uh, ones with backgrounds that are light so that the postcard shows through. And what's interesting, if you do that, and then if you um, copy it on your printer or, um, or scan it and print it out, for some reason, it really it really comes together on the scan, even more so on the phys than the physical um, postcard. But let's see, let's see what we might have that that would look good on these. Let's let's try this. We won't know till we try. This one um, has a bit of a light blue background, but I think it might be light enough that. It'll show through okay. We'll just see. Goodness, some of these are like really pressed on there. It's coming off in strips and there's one more layer too, which is kind of annoying. That's why I like using my scrap bag though, because for the most part, they're already pulled apart. So, okay. Things sticking to me everywhere, guys. Okay. Okay. This sheet's a little more willing to come off. Okay, and then I'll just get this little strip off. Okay. So going to kind of decide where I want and I think I want this corner because gosh I hope that's going to show through I guess we'll see do I have one that I'm going to use I'm going to use this one just because I don't like it that much and if it doesn't work won't matter. Okay, we're going to go that way on it. Okay, let's just see what happens. I did a bunch of these, and um, what I did was I scanned them, and then I made, you know, I printed them out then on cardstock and I made postcards out of them that I sold out of this arts or art store on consignment and people seem to really like them okay I am going to try and cut that off at least a little bit. Where's my skizzers? Okay, there we go. All right, so, and I do think um, definitely this is a case for decoupage medium of some sort um, because it's I think it's the wetness that kind of makes the um, napkin sink into the background and the bits of the postcard show through then and so all that to say, maybe not glue stick on this for this particular project. It's really the decoupage that is what is what does it. So we'll let that dry and we'll see what we can see through that. Okay. Um, now let's let's do one that I know is going to work. So let's. Where, where'd that where'd that fun one go here okay so let's use like maybe something like this on there it's gonna mostly cover 
Well, we'll just do it from this end. Okay. Need my brush. So fun, though. I do love doing these crazy little little things. And of course you can do so much when, when it's all decorated. You can put uh, modeling paste on it. You can do anything like that. I'm going to set those up a little so I can set that there. And let's go here with that. Okay. Oops. Come here, you. I think I need a little more on there. Okay. I'm just going to try and mostly get where the postcard is. Hope this works to show you. I should have grabbed the ones that I had done before and shown you the the result, but did I think I had to do that? No, not even sure where they're at. So yeah, this one's going to work great. So I think you're better off with a white background on your napkin. Let's just say that. I think you are. Okay. We're going to set that aside, let that dry. Looks like the first um, the first cards that we did, the playing cards, are ready. So I think we're going to work with those a little bit. But these, I have all these that I thought would work well. Oh, let's try this one real quick before we stop. Um, I thought that one could be cool with something over the top. Okay, I got a fine, let's use this one, maybe. Yeah, let's use this one. Because that has the potential for being super cool. Okay, one more. Can't stop, can't stop. About to sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It happens almost every video, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it could be that I have no ventilation down here. That could be part of the problem. Who knows? Okay, I'm just going to lay this on here. I don't want the logo of the napkin maker. Thank you anyway. Okay, and then put Mod Podge over the top. We'll see what we get. I think this would be a fun thing to put the original in a journal too because, um, you know, then you've got the various texture and stuff like that. That's going to be cool. So what I'll try and do is get uh, make a copy of these and show you tomorrow that kind of the rest of the process. Okay. Come here. Okay, well, let's set that aside to dry as well. Alrighty then, I'm going to clean up my Mod Podge. See, isn't that just the best, just to be able to gr get that wet cloth and just, it's good to go. Okay, and I think I'm going to wipe this off. And I like to put wax paper because then the glue, uh, the lid doesn't get glued on. And there we go. Okay. 
So, I can get rid of this. Just get a few things out of my way. This can go out of my way. These can go back in the box. These can be a for another day project, can't they? Okay, set those aside and then let's kind of finish off I'll use this multiple times. That's why I'm wiping it off. Oops, look at there. Got a little piece of napkin. Okay. So I just need to wipe my hands too because otherwise I'm not going to be able to grab anything. Okay, so here are our little cards. And I have so much napkin on my finger. It's just, you know, it makes media Monday. You get messy. That's all there is to that. Okay, so it's actually a little, it's a little, that one's a little wet in the middle. This one feels dry. So I'm just going to go back and trim anything hanging over. If you want to wrap it around, you certainly can. But do you see, when we first put those mushrooms on there, you really couldn't see the spades behind it. But once it dries, you can really see what's under it. Okay, so little birdies. You're still wet, but I'm going to still give you a try to trim you up a little bit. I'm going to continue to get gluey. I can see that. There we go. Okay. Sit there and dry some more. This one's completely dry. Okay. So that one's still drying. That one's still drying. These two are dry. This one's not quite dry. I just about goobered that up. So let those dry a little bit more. But then I'll, with these two at least, I'll show you what else I'm going to do. Because I want these as journal cards, um, I am going to... these will work. Is this tall enough? Yes. So, um, except this is cardstock. I don't really want that. I want, let me just see what I've got here. I've got lots of, lots of bits and pieces here in the of coffee dyed paper. So I think I just want coffee dyed paper. All that to say. Okay, so my glue pages, and I think I'm going to be good with just, you know what I think I'll do? Because these are so vintage -y looking anyway, I think I'm going to cut this, um, about two by two by three so let's see two that looks that looks really skinny when I'm looking at it but I guess it's right yep two by three. Okay. We'll, we'll see how we do here. Now, on the fronts, 
you know, a person can add a word, you could add a label, you know, just like you're decorating anything else. Okay, I am just going to slide that in there. Okay, so now I have a little journaling card on that side. I have my decorative my decorative stuff on this side. So we'll think about what we want on that. Okay, two by three, right? If I recall. <laughs> I could I could mess that up. Okay, so there's a two. And there's two. And then by three. I keep sliding. I don't know. I'm wearing slippery pants today. I guess I'm falling off my chair. About to lose me, people. About to lose me. Okay, those would be good to stamp on. Okay, now, just going to put that on the back of this one. And they, these will just be cute in a pocket or something, I think. Okay, there's that one. All ready to go. This one was close to dry. I think it's dry enough that I can put the backing on. The other plus of this is how the cards are curling because they're drying. This kind of straightens them back out too. There we go. Okay, that one can be drying. Um, I didn't think to bring over my um, to bring over my dryer. Okay, two here. Two here. And then we'll have the backs for those two, too. I feel like I need to wait a minute on those, though. Three. Okay. I think we're done with this for the moment. You guys, I have such a disastrous mess in my craft room. It's driving me bonkers. And it's it's because I'm trying to kind of pull things out to go to the retreat, but I'm not packed yet. I don't have I don't want to pack because I still have videos to do before I go. So it's just like, oh my gosh. I don't do very well with messiness all around me. I find that it kind of stifles my creativity a bit. <laughs> but you're getting there, buddy. Just get your back on, and then that'll be ready. And then we'll kind of look at the fronts and see if there's something else we'd like to do. I think this will go on just fine, even though he's not quite dry. There we go. Okay. Okay, so... What else would we like to do with these little cards, one might ask. Now, I feel like something right across there would be cute, like a little um, little number or something. So that's a bit, that's a bit big. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I know the other one has a few small. Now here's one. No. No, no, no. This one would go wherever it is. This one would go up and down. I might not mind that there. I might cut that down a little bit. 
That one might go for our, let's see, where's my, here it is. Um, that one might go for the sunflowers though. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind that there. Let's, let's get out our okay I like what that's doing in case it needed just a little more vintaging up <laughs> let's see let me just check the time we're good I want to give those postcards a little more time to dry before I show you but this is this little guy he's going to be done and I'm excited about I'm excited about these so I'm just going to put that as far down as I can there he's cute that works okay now I do I do think I want a little number or something on this. Let's see if we have something we think is gonna be small enough. See, I feel like that's a little overwhelming. That's a little big. <laughs> so what else do we have in here? How about this one? I think if I tear that down a bit, that might just work. So We'll just give it a few little tears, even on the bottom. These are the ones that I have stamped on the strips that you see me putting over to the side. And they do come in super handy. So, let's... That a little brush and let's okay. Okay. like that one too yay all right so how about our apple I almost think it could use something down the side too let's see those were in this bag um, and these will be in different journals so I could use that but I thought there was one more thing that looked like it was going I mean, this is really cute, and I could put it sideways. It doesn't have to. Let's see if we can tear that a little bit. It's got very straight edges. It's kind of on that um, rag paper, though, so it feels kind of cool. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Whew. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Yeah, and then that's going to go up and down there. All right. Good, good. Okay. I had somebody ask me the other day about my pouches. She's obviously missed all my chatting about my merch shop but my pouches are well they're either sayings that are sort of gale isms or they are my own artwork and they are available in my merch store there is a little link in the description box below the video and um 
yeah, they are super fun. I have really, really, really enjoyed my pouches. Just, you, you, I, well, I use them all the time. Okay, that's a pretty one, too. I really like that. Oop, got a bubble. I fixed it. Okay, so that one's done. Okay, let's check you out, birdies. What would you like? Gosh, you're pretty awesome, just as you are. I think in... Gosh, which one is it? This? No, it's not that one. That one. I feel like I'm missing one of my... Here it is. Is there something teeny tiny in here? Yeah, there's this. I could tear down and just put down there. I kind of like it over those two. I think I might do that. But it needs to be torn down a little bit. Let's see, that one goes here. I got them out of order. I kind of have them memorized where they are. But, um, but yeah, I just, I, I love them. I have a new merch thing coming, though. And we're just working on it. But it's going to be so fun. There you go. There's a little teaser. I could hardly wait. <laughs> it makes me giggle. And it's just going to be so cool to, for us to have. Okay. So I'm just going to put that kind of even up here on those. Okay. Yeah, they're really, I don't know that there's room for much of a label on these, but, but a little, little bit of a, forgot to, to stress around that, but that's okay. It looks good. Okay, and then our little fox, so you can really see the stuff un under there, can't you? I think something over there again is what I'm feeling. Um, but I think I might go, like... I think I might go with something like this. like along that side right there. Yep, I think that's what I might do. Okay, so I realized I forgot to, whoops, I forgot to, to stress around this guy. Aren't they so cool? I just love them. I love them. Okay, you need to be torn off right there. And perhaps a little bit down there. And then I'm just going to give you a little edge. And go around this. Okay, and we'll do that on there. And then we'll take a look at our postcards and see how they're doing. But yeah, I'm going to just put you right about there, I think. Oops. There we go. Okay, so there's our little cards. Let's see, what time is it? Okay, we've got time. So I'm going to show you these real quick before the end of the video. These. And this little guy. So super happy with how those turned out. I'm going to lay those behind us. 
And let's just take a look at these. They're not quite dry. They're not quite dry, but um, this one's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the excess. It's hard to, it's kind of hard to see until you get around there. If I can remember to, I'll try and dig out the ones that I did before that are super dry for tomorrow's video, just to show you quick. Okay, so you can really see on that one, see how the white just fades away and you've got what was the, the postcard before. So how fun is that? And I, it's still got all the copyright stuff and whatever, but it'll be a fun little journal card. So, um, and then this one, this one should be fairly dry, but, and I'll just keep the, keep the, um, background as is, maybe distress around it a little bit at most. Okay, let's see, a little on here. Oops, still wet right there. That's okay. We'll have to put something over that or something. This is goobering because it's still wet. So I'm playing with them and I shouldn't be is, is the key here. But then this one, um, you can kind of see the different colors and the mountain and the the flowers there. I think you'll see it even more as it dries, but I'm not gonna mess with it because I've already goobered up this one. Um, what I'll do is grab some of the, um, some of this napkin and just like put something over that, like a little butterfly or something, or a little extra, just like even a little bit of, of this and I can just kind of pop that over that and that will fix that <laughs> but but yeah so don't mess with them till they're dry but um I will I will show you more results on this in tomorrow's video how about so I hope you enjoyed that I am super happy with my little playing cards and um I'm gonna be super happy with these two once they dry so there you have it. That's a little mixed media mod podging fun today. So thanks so much for crafting with me and um, hanging out today. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.